How many times have you heard, show your story rather than tell it? And how many times have you gone right on and did a lot of telling? Well, I, I, I know I have. But before we get into today's topic, Show and Not Tell, I want to welcome you to the Better Memoir Writing Masterclass channel. I am Denis Ledoux, author of the classic granddaddy of memoir writing books, Turning Memories into Memoirs, and I am founder of the Memoir Network. Showing is one technique that will always improve your writing. I admit that there is some great writing that makes a precedent for tell, but as a rule, showing to show is more effective. Although much telling characterizes writing before the 20th century, our sensibilities since then have changed significantly, and we now have some resistance accepting so much telling. I'll tell you why in a while. Here are three show, don't tell ideas that will improve your memoir every time. Tip number one. Think of your pen or your computer's keyboard as your movie camera. In a film, a director, that's you as the director of your own memoir, movie, doesn't have an act to go on screen to tell the audience that someone is angry. Instead, the director shows the character in a scene where anger is being fully acted out. In writing, this means you do not say, Naomi was angry. You show the action. You create a movie-like scene that makes it clear now Naomi is angry. She is picking up a dish from a drying rack, and then she throws it across the room. It crashes against the door that Henry has just walked through inches from his head. You may choose to include words, that is, dialogue, and don't you ever say that to me again, that underscore the action. But the words should not replace the action. Your writing itself must show as much feeling as there was in life. Clearly, you don't need to tell the reader that the character was angry or scared if you depict an action that shows that emotion. In fact, Telling takes away from the pleasure the reader has in interpreting and understanding your story. Tip number two. To understand your memoir, the reader shouldn't have to have any special info that is not in the eye of the camera. Well, what does that mean? You must challenge yourself to include everything the readers need to know to comprehend what you want them to understand. After all, you are the director of your memoir movie. Show Don't Tell goes a step further when you realize you must also exclude, edit out, anything in your story which does not contribute to showing as a way of delivering information. See my video on self-editing, which I have here on YouTube. Showing rather than telling is fairly new to writing. In most writing prior to the 20th century, plenty of information is conveyed by a character who tells what has happened off stage. Macbeth, for example, commits his famous murder off stage. We don't see it. But movies have been in our culture for over 100 years now. They have changed the way we expect to experience a story, not only on the screen, but also on the page. Today we are habituated to observing actions that earlier storytellers had to describe through a narrator. Shakespeare was forced to tell not to show. His stage was small, and the cost and complication of bringing on a cast of thousands and making scene changes, well, that was just prohibitive. Today's movie director not only wants to and can portray the death of the King Duncan in Macbeth, but also must do so because of the expectations of the audience. 
We won't believe Duncan's death in the same way if we are told about it rather than if we see it happen ourselves. The same is true of your life stories. Tip number three. Showing is almost always more convincing than telling. In a film I saw recently, the hero meets a woman who seems more suitable to him than his wife. Seems is a crucial word here, since we don't ever see the hero and his new woman in a real-life situation. We have, however, seen how he and his wife interact so destructively with each other. The movie shows us that his wife is simply not right for him. The scenes in which they squabble make that very clear. Eventually, the hero leaves his wife for the other woman, and incredibly, a narrator tells us they lived happily ever after. I just couldn't believe what I was hearing. Here, big time was tell rather than show. It was a big flaw in the film. As an audience member, I wanted to see how well the new couple got along, how they could function, how infatuation could turn into an enduring relationship. As written, the ending fell flat, very flat for me. I didn't believe what I was told like I would have believed what I could have witnessed myself. Your readers lean on the same standard to interpret your memoir. Look at your memoir writing from the prism of show and don't tell. Find opportunities to convert your stories from telling to showing by using the active components of scene building, dialogue, action, setting. Let readers experience your stories by providing the scenes they need to understand your story. In the description below, you will find a free e-course on components of scene building. Be sure to check it out. If you would like to explore receiving help with your memoir on any aspect of uh, memoir writing, we offer a 30-minute complimentary get-to-know-you coaching um, session. The link to a free consultation is in the description below also. Before you go, Please hit the subscribe button at the bottom left of this video and click on the bell at the top of your screen. Subscribing assures this memoir writing content will appear on your YouTube homepage and recommendations bar which appears at the right hand of your homepage. And remember, inch by inch it's a cinch, yard by yard it's hard. Good luck writing your stories.